Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, it is... Oh, I say b-holes too much. Um, that has been brought to my attention. So, let me know down below if b-holes bothers you. And if not, then I'll keep using it. <clears throat> um, I've had a rough day. It's been a doozy of a day. Doozy of a day. It's been quite a Bukowski type of day, if you know what I mean. Um, but I was able to um, print out... Ooh. Boy, that is a bright light. What if I go like this? That was terrifying. Okay. So anyway, we got the Time Zine. This is the new zine that Weird Mask is putting out. And this is going to focus on older stuff. Um, so this first issue comes out on Christmas Eve. Has I'm serializing Frankenstein in here. So we got Mary Shelley. Then we have Edgar Allan Poe, F. Marion Crawford, H.P. Lovecraft, Robert E. Howard, and Robert W. Chambers. This is so fun for me. Um, and it's on, it's got a cardstock cover, which is nice. And so does Weird Mask number nine. Boy, that is a bright light. So, um, Weird Mask number nine. There we go. That's a little bit better. Um, this is the cult issue. It has a, uh, a 6,000 word story by yours truly. Um, and we also got, um, how come this isn't working? Um, DJ Tyrer, um, sent something in and so did Ransom Wall. We've had them in here before. Um, and then Scott Tio Dempsey is new, um, for the zine, Unnameable Eons, Dead in Sleep. And then Diane Arelli, I think is how you say her name, Maggie Joe. And it is so good. Um, and then part six of our Princess of Mars, um, what do you call it? Uh, serialization. Um, we've got some cool ads in here, like go ahead and make her day. She's the sheriff, starring Suzanne Summers. Um, all sorts of fun stuff. Got another cross weird puzzle, and um, thought I'd put a little Thanksgiving awesomeness on the back. So, um, good deal with that. And this also has a card slot cover. This will be on the Etsy store uh, in a little while, man. Um, this will not. This is a little bit later in the month. Um, so I'm super stoked about that. And, um, oh, Ghostmas. That's what I'm doing here. Um, I wanted to talk to you about today's story, which is Smee by A.M. Uh, Burridge, Burridge, we'll say. Um, I was really not... I froze for a minute there again. Um, but it was really good. It's about th this group of people who um, go into a haunted... Or they go into a house on Christmas Eve... And um, they want to play hide-and-seek, um, but they end up playing a game called Smee. And they explain how the game works. But it's like, um, it's like kind of like a play on It's Me. And um, somebody is Smee, and Smee goes and hides, and all the lights are out. And then everyone goes and looks for him. And if you, and you're in the dark, and if you find a person and you touch that person and you go, oh, someone's there, you go, Smee? And then they go, Smee. And that means they're okay. But if you say, Smee, and they don't answer, that means they're Smee. 
and um, which is terrifying, okay? But um, there's a door in the house that when you open the door, you just there's like a steep staircase, and someone died years ago um, on that staircase. So you kind of have a good idea as to what's going to happen next. Um, and it was just good. It was just like the whole time I'm like going, I bet I know what's going to happen, but it was just good. Like, <laughs> so you could read it, um, at, uh, weirdmass.com. I just put it up a minute ago. Um, and that's it. So for those of you who are like expecting zines, I have so many zines I have to ship. I have just been, um, dealing with some stuff that has made it hard for me to leave the house lately. Um, so I just, um, I'm going to have to just do it. Um, so hopefully tomorrow it shouldn't be too bad, but yeah, I have like a stack of zines to send out. So if you've been waiting for a zine from me, and honestly, if you've been waiting for more than a week, um, I don't know what to tell you. Let me know because you should have already gotten it. But if you've ordered anything within the last, we'll say if you've ordered anything in the last two weeks, um, give it until the end of the week because, um, I'm pretty sure I did last week's shipments, but, um, in case I didn't, or in case you missed the cutoff on when I went to the post office, um, I will be sending these out tomorrow. So, Weird Mass 9, pretty much out now. Go to weirdmass.com. Um, actually, give me a couple hours. Wait till tomorrow. And um, the Time Mazine. And yes, that is very clever. So, thank you. Um, but the Time Mazine. Um, hopefully, you guys are into this because this, like, this is fun finding writers, finding new writers. And giving an outlet for um, a bunch of booktube friends of mine who write to put stuff out. And it's good to get my stuff out. But this is like, just like a passion project. It's like a bunch of shit that I love um, in here. And I'm just going to tell you. So we have Frankenstein in here, the Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe, which is probably the story that um, turned me into a writer, I want to say. Um, the madness that the narrator goes through in that, um, I, I could almost remember the day it happened. Um, because for the longest time, like all through junior high, I just read Edgar Allan Poe's poetry. I didn't know he wrote stories. And I got this um, complete Edgar Allan Poe book from my grandmother. And I went in my room and I sat at my desk. And um, I read The Telltale Heart. And I don't know how old I was. Probably 18, 19. Um, it completely just destroyed my future. Um, it has made me what I am today. That's how it, this all started. Um, the Upper Birth by F. Marion Crawford, who is an author I just recently found, like within the last year. Um, but The Upper Birth is amazing. It's about a cab, like a, here, let me just pull up a little picture of it to show you. Oh, wait, I think I went too far. Oh, this is what happens when I make a video. Okay, so let's see here. I haven't stapled this one yet. Can you see that? That's what's happening. Okay. Um, so that's in there. And then I'm going through Lovecraft's whole canon. So the first bunch of issues of this is going to be his juvenilia. Um, all the stuff he wrote when he was a kid. Um, 
And uh, so the little glass bottle is in here. Um, and then part one of the Hyborian Age. Now when, um, and this was like the essay that Robert E. Howard wrote when he started putting together um, how Conan was going to work into like the world of Cole and all that other stuff. Um, but... Uh, El Sprague de Camp broke it up into two parts when he was putting together those Lance um, or Ace Lancer paperbacks and I kind of went along with him to an extent so um, there is one small difference at where I broke it um, but that's just a personal preference and then for those of you who still haven't done it yet because you're a jerk, um, I have uh, part one of the repair of reputations from The King in Yellow because that story is amazing. So that is what you have to look forward to in the time machine number one. Hurrah. Okay, so anyway, um, enough of that. Um, this is kind of like my Vlogmas, so I hope you guys are enjoying yourself, God damn it. Um, but yeah, so Ghostmas, day three, we're doing good. We're already at the third day. Um, just have like 21 more days to go. Um, let me know down below what you think, and um, kisses, beeholes. holes